Morocco, the land of colorful spices, beautiful architecture, vibrant cities, orange juice, mint tea and incredible craftworks. Despite all its fantastic features, a lot of people still think it is a dangerous country to visit, especially for female solo travelers. I traveled solo in Morocco for two weeks to find out what it's really like. This is my story. So I'm still waiting for a driver to come because the driver that I booked didn't show up, which is terrible. But this is what happens when you travel a lot. So sometimes it has to go bad. But I already called the agency. I will get my money back. Um, and now um, the lady of the hotel, she called another taxi and he should be arriving in a few minutes. So I will still be able to get to Casablanca today. So after a four hour drive, I finally managed to reach Casablanca. And look where I am right now. I made it to the grandma. So apparently I am not allowed to use my long tripod or monopod, so I have to put it near the ground. I have no idea what's the difference between just a small or a long uh, monopod or tripod. I don't know what is going to happen with it, but it is forbidden to use. So yeah, I have to respect that and that's no problem, but I don't see any reason why it is allowed to use a short one, but not a long one. So if I just keep it small, it's okay. If I make it big, it is forbidden. Strange thoughts here. Or strange way of thinking. I will do it. So apparently it is also not allowed to use the small tripod. So what I'm going to do is I will wake up very early in the morning and I will come here before security gets here. I don't know if they will be here 24 hours per day, but at least I can try. And at nine o'clock there is um, that building over there where the direction of the foundation of this mosque is seated. And I can try to ask for a permit. It's getting a bit ridiculous actually. Because I'm not doing anything wrong with using a tripod. But apparently it is, yeah, it's forbidden. So I just had to shout at some guy to leave me alone or else I would call the police. That is actually the first time that is, this is happening to me here in Morocco. Um, he was probably much younger than me, but it doesn't matter. He was just just kept talking to me even though I already said three times that he needed to leave me alone I wasn't interested at all he just kept asking for my number my Facebook my whatsapp and I'm like really serious dude so I just screamed real loud like guy leave me alone or I will call the police and everyone was staring and then he got scared and then he ran off and the police is right behind me so that's actually very good organized here. There are a lot of police here in Morocco, so if you ever feel unsafe as a woman or even as a guy, you can always say, go away or I call the police. That's the only solution. It's a pity, but it, I don't think it's typical Morocco. I think it is just, it can happen everywhere. So you just have to have a big mouth. That's it. Good morning everyone from Casablanca. This morning I am going to visit the inside of the mosque and take some pictures and around 2 o'clock I will be leaving to my last stop, Marrakech.
can probably spend the whole day admiring this building and those who are fast and smart actually get the chance to use their tripods I know it's bad of me, I broke the rules but I didn't do anything wrong with it, you know? It's not like I put anyone in danger I just put a tripod on just really really low and I was just fast enough to take a few shots so that's okay and I'm sorry but I just didn't want to waste time to ask for permission because I'm not sure if I would have gotten it and then I had to waste time for nothing now it's just too calm, I can take pictures and yeah it's great here it's also a very different vibe than in the evening in the evening I don't know there were too many guys here they were all staring at me they wanted to be on the picture with me asking for my number and now it's way way better it's just because there are a lot of tourists now and for some reason I prefer more tourists here because it feels more safe but it's okay Now I'm going to do the inside tour. of the mosque is absolutely breathtaking it is so impressive the ceilings the carvings the lamps it is gorgeous and I'm here just by myself didn't take a guide or follow the group I just sneaked out <laughs> This way I have enough time to explore on my own I have to say I really 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 love this kind of architecture